real windy day here today. We're going to work today on installing a new backup camera. The one that's built into the ambulance now doesn't work. Looks like it has a lot of problems. Uh, I bought an I bought a new system to try to put in. So that's what we're going to start working on. This is the backup camera that's in there right now. Doesn't work. So we're going to put a new one in. The new one looks just like this one, but just a new version actually. This is the backup monitor that's in the truck right now. This is the same exact monitor. Same controls, same layout. It's identical. This new one is called a two guard CA711 rear view monitor kit. And here's the new camera, which looks just like a new version of what was on there. But this wiring does look different from what was in the back. Now this is the back where the wires coming through from the outside and I've wrapped up all these wires. They are different. This had a little module of some sort here. That doesn't seem to be on the new system and these plugged in with these RCA cables. This new one doesn't do that. We have our roof taken down. So I'm thinking that we could take the wire instead of having it come around the side like the other one was done. I could weed it through up here and have the wire come right through the center. So I was able to take the back camera off quite easily without even any tools. I just uh, turned it a little bit on the outside and it loosened the bolt up on the inside and I was able to get it off with my fingers. And then I yanked the wire through the hole. And uh, here we go. Here's the old backup camera that doesn't work. Ah, there we go. And we'll try to get the new one put in. Okay, now that I got the old one out, we're dealing with a little bit of a problem here. The old one has this screw, that, smaller screw area. This newer one has this very large hole here. Uh, so I had to go find a new bolt to put in here uh, that I think is going to work with a washer on it. So I can put that in like that instead of that there because that doesn't have that larger hole. So this will be how I'm going to have to mount it. Let's see if that's going to work. I'm going to stick this through here. And then I've got a lock nut washer I'm going to put, or bolt I'm going to put on the back so it doesn't vibrate loose, hopefully. bolt is just long enough to where this socket is not deep enough. Well, then you need a deep well socket. Yes, I do. I need a deep well socket. So this is where we're at right now. I've got this partially screwed in. Here's the wire hanging down. down. I've got to then push that wire through the upper hole there. Okay, here now we have it all wired up. Everything looks good. It's bolted in nice and tight. The rubber seal is put on, the wires run through there, we're all set, ready to go. Now inside here, here's an inside view. We have the, the rubber sealant, the wire coming in, and I'm routing the wire up through some holes in the aluminum up in our ceiling, since I'm routing this through the center of the ceiling. 
Uh, there you can see the plug. And next we're going to go to the other end, way down there, and start routing the wire from the front of the truck to the back through all these little holes and inlets. I'm going to push it over the top of some of these wires. That way it'll hold it up in there for now. And then it comes all the way to the back, and this is where the two pieces will connect the camera to the long extension wire. And we're all good. So what we did is we pulled down all this headliner stuff that was falling apart here because we had bad water leaks. We had water leaks coming in, dripping through all these little plastic tabs. So now you can see this a lot better. We've got this little ridge gap up here. And that's where I've got this wire coming through. And I'm able to slide it all the way over here, out of the way. And then the wire's all coming down right here into a big mess. There's a lot of extra wire here. So I took this piece here off. This is what went up here in the corner. So I've got this open area here. I know this isn't showing you too well. And this is where I'm going to try to feed the wire through there and then come down here. And then once I get into there, what I figured out is I was able to pull the roof liner away from this rubber here that's holding it up. So instead of needing to feed the wire through, I can just push it up all around this edge and then push this back up under the rubber part here that holds it up in place. So that's going to make it be a lot easier going through the roof area. Okay, what I found is, move your hand for a second, up here in the corner, there's a big hole back here behind the dash where you can feed stuff through. So we're feeding the wire in, in down here, and I have it coming out under the dash. It's a, a whole lot of wire, so we're, we're pulling it through right now. And I have a pile of wire <laughs> to then connect into something. Okay, I put this piece back on. It's hard to see here with the backlighting. Uh, but that's back on, covering up the wire. This is coming up into the ceiling here. And my wire's coming up through there from the back. So look at there. We have a screen working. I took this old screen out. This one still there. This mount works, but uh, I have the wire hanging down right now just testing all this. I don't have it hardwired in. This has a feature where you could plug in a cigarette lighter version to power it as well. So just to test it, I plugged in the cigarette lighter and uh, there it is, it does work. Looks like I've got a little bit of the hood back there. I've got to move and then figure out my angle. Okay, I've got this mounted. <laughs> it's getting dark out. Turn that on and there we go. I don't know if you can see that there. I've got it mounted kind of low. It's mounted to the doghouse right now going to have to figure out a better place and a better way to mount this but at least it is working and uh, what's kind of neat is I can add a second camera to this and it will switch over to another channel for another camera I think that's a pretty good idea I think I will add another camera be nice to have one maybe on the right side of the truck so when I'm driving I could see a little bit better on that side because my mirrors aren't that great of a view over there. So anyways there we are and right now I'm just using it through the cigarette lighter plug. I didn't wire it in yet because I have I don't know if there's enough light here to see but I have a pile of wire down here. There we go. <laughs> all bunched up just 
kind of out of the way just enough so I could still drive. I kind of made a mistake. This screw was holding in that other older unit and I took the screw out and the bolt or uh, nut on the other end fell inside so it is now just just sitting in here. So that's it for now. I do have a working backup camera finally. Now I could back up and see who's behind me and drive a little bit safer. So that's it for now, and I'll see you next time.